Welcome back to the channel guys and in today's Blender tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to sculpt a nose in Blender 4.2. Now the nose is one of those things that is quite intimidating when people get started but I want to show you some very basic and useful techniques that you can use to simplify the process greatly so you can get a result that looks just like this. So if this is something you're interested in keep watching and if you like it subscribe give a like and check out some other content and I'll really appreciate that. So let's jump in and sculpt a human nose in Blender 4.2. So one of the first useful things to do is to go onto the internet. I prefer to use a site called Pexels because it's free and you can use all of the stuff on there um, without having to give any royalties or anything like that. And you can see here, I just typed in human nose and it's always good to just have a really good look at all different types of nose structures. But even though noses are all different on different people, general rules apply. Um, sort of the kind of the bridge or the nose um, kind of roughly the spacing of the nostrils. These are the sort of things you want to look at. We want to get the fundamentals down um, before we kind of customize any specific type of nose. So having a good look at references, familiarizing yourself with the structure of the nose from different angles, different positions, um, is really going to help you a lot. So make sure to do that first thing. So we're not going to jump into Blender. And inside of Blender, um, I'm thinking I'm just going to take the default cube here and on my right orthographic, I'll just go S, Y and flatten it and maybe scale it up a bit just to have a flat surface. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this and I'm going to go into the sculpting workspace. I'm going to come over here to the active tools properties and enable dynamic topology down here. And then I'm going to set it to four over here in the detail and in the front here. Um, obviously, I guess we probably want symmetry. So let's just quickly come to symmetry here and just enable the X mirror. So what we want to do is we want to come over here and get the clay strips brush to start with. And what we're going to do, we're going to take the strength and we're going to take it all the way up to one because we want to add quite a bit of material to get started. And we're going to start here in the middle and just kind of drag down to about here, like so. And you can see from the side, this is what we have. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to come over here in the bottom and kind of add more over here kind of like that. And now we have this shape. And then all I have to do in the front is just kind of fill up the space in between like so. So this is kind of like the shape that we have. Okay. From there, we're going to press F to grow our brush and holding in shift. We're just going to click and lightly smooth it out. So holding in shift, that's all you have to do to kind of get this sort of shape here. And then we're going to come here and get the grab brush. And we're going to just take the corner here at the bottom and just kind of pull it out a little bit more with the grab brush, like so. There we go, but not too much. And then we're going to come here and we're going to get the crease brush. We're going to press F to shrink it a little bit. And we're going to come here in the bottom and just kind of go around and just crease it like so up to here. And then just slightly along the nose like so. And once we have that done, we're just going to hold in shift again and just give it one more light smoothing around the bridge here, like so. And now we have kind of like the base shape here. We're now going to go over to our clay strips brush again. We're going to press F to really shrink the brush. We want it quite small. And then we're going to come in here on the side and just kind of make a bit going like so and wrapping around like that. So just a little hook and just add some material here. And then coming in closer, just hooking around like so. And then once you have that done, you're going to press F to grow your brush and hold in shift and just click to smooth out around here like so. And then in here to kind of blend it in together. And now we have the rough formation of the nostrils. But from here, before we go too much further, we're going to go and get our grab brush. And then in our front view, let's press F to grow the size of the brush. And let's just take this nostril here and just drag it down a little bit to make it look a little bit more natural. And also just gonna drag it out slightly over here. There we go. And then holding in shift, let's just smooth it lightly like that. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna come over here to our crease brush. We're gonna press F just to shrink it. And let's just come in here in the corner of the nose. I'm gonna increase the strength quite a bit it's going to come here and just crease it up like that. And then holding in shift, let's just quickly kind of blend it like so. And then from here, I'm going to get the grab brush. And now I'm just going to define the nostrils a little bit more by kind of pulling this material in, in the inside, like so. 
and we want to make them a little bit deeper. So what we can do is once we have the general shape like this, we can just go over to our inflate tool. We can press F and shrink the brush and then we're going to go hold in control and maybe let's just take up the strength and we're just going to come in here and just hollow this out while we're holding in control or command just to make it a little bit more hollow. And now you can see that's already starting to look really good. Now from here we have the general idea established, but we can now refine the shape on the nose a little bit more. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to our crease brush, click on it. Let's shrink it. So press F and shrink it a little bit. And we're going to come in here nice and close. And we're just going to start here in this corner and just kind of go and go across like so, like that. And then we're gonna come here and we're gonna kind of make like a V shape going up onto the bridge of the nose like that. And that looks kind of weird, but if now go F and you grow your brush and you hold in shift, you can just lightly blend that in like so. And now we've got a much more natural looking shape down the nose. And from here, let's get our clay strips brush. Now this is where it varies, okay? So it depends on the person's nose, but some people have a bit more volume here at the front. Some people have it kind of more coming to a finer point and some people have it a little bit more bulbous. So this is really kind of one of those things where it's a matter of looking at references. Um, it's gonna be a little bit different for men and women. It also varies based on ethnicity, um, age, all sorts of factors. So it really depends at this point on what kind of um, reference you're looking at and what you're going to do. But in this case, I'm just gonna add a little bit more volume here at the front. Probably go for a little bit more of a masculine looking nose. Um, but yeah, there's no right or wrong when it comes to these finer little details. I mean, you can definitely um, make it however you want. So there we have an already great looking nose. Um, I'm gonna get my clay strips brush and I'm just gonna hold in control and just kind of make a little bit of a flange in here like that and then shrink it even more and just kind of do a little strip kind of coming down like so and in here. And then from here, I'm gonna just press F to grow the brush. I'm going to hold and shift just to get the smooth tool and just smooth it in like so. And then another thing here is you can come here and just kind of make a top bridge of the nose. Now this really would be if we were doing more of a full character, but I'm just using the clay strips brush and just kind of making more of a little bit of a bridge here and holding and shift. I'm just going to smooth and kind of flatten it like so. And on different people, this could be more pronounced or less pronounced. So yeah, there we have it. That is pretty much a nose. I think it looks pretty realistic. At this point, you can take it and shape it however you want. Once again, always look at references as you're working. It's gonna help you a lot. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial on sculpting a nose in Blender. Um, check out some of my other content. Definitely subscribe, give it a like, and I'll see you guys next time.